Hi guys. So today I'm going to try something I've never ever tried before. But I was looking on the internet and I came across this girl. Um, two English acres. And she made a peach cobbler. And I always thought that they were like so much harder to do. But she made it look so easy. So I'm going to try it today. She used fresh, fresh peaches. I don't have any fresh peaches so I'm going to use canned. So what she says for the batter is to use a cup of sugar and a cup of flour. So I'll put that together. And then you need two teaspoons of baking powder. So make sure it's baking powder. I got my other set dirty so I couldn't find everything so I'll have to do it in doubles and a quarter teaspoon of salt this looks so easy and I'm like I have always wanted to make one but never have because I'm like that's got to be so much work <laughs> so I'm gonna mix the powders together first I know something I didn't prep yet was the cinnamon. And then it says to use um, three quarters of a cup of milk. So I'm going to pour that right in there. And stir that in there. Obviously this is earlier in the day, so I'll end up re-warming it up, but... And then maybe having some ice cream with it. But my grandma used to always make cobbler. And it just looks so good. Let me get this down here so I can stir it better. That looks like it might be a good consistency. That's enough for a 9 by 13 pan. Maybe I should add just a little bit more milk. Hold on, guys. Just a little bit. <clears throat> While I'm up, I might as well grab my cinnamon. There it is. I tried so hard to have everything ready, you guys. And, well, I guess I screwed up. <laughs> Can't always be perfect, right? And then, like, I actually spilt milk. I never do that. So maybe the measurement was right, and maybe it was just the milk that I spilt. <laughs> there, that looks a little better. It was probably the amount of milk that I spilt, to be honest. So now she says to put six tablespoons of melted butter on the bottom. And this is what seemed weird to me. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? But it turned out beautiful. And I'm like, well, never doubt it when you see it, you know. <laughs> All right, so now you're to pour your mixture over top of that. You would think you'd put your peaches in first, right? But that's not what they do. That's what I was confused. And then when I seen how beautiful it came out, I was like, wow, that looks gorgeous. Now I'm not gonna, you don't wanna mix it, but I am going to push it out to the edges here. Because believe it or not, It'll all come together. I didn't think that was going to happen either, but it does. So then you're supposed to spoon your um, peaches over top of the, the mix here. I really wish I would have had some of my own canned peaches left, but I didn't. So I used four small cans of 
regular canned peaches. Because my peaches that I canned are all gone. No more. Sad. Because mine are so much better than any of these canned ones. And I'm sorry for the company that makes those, but... <laughs> They're just not as firm. I don't like a mushy um, peach at all. I like them a little bit firmer. And with canning your own, you can do that. My husband would take my canned peaches to work, and they're like, your wife canned that? And he's, like, and he's like, yeah. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, and now you're supposed to take cinnamon and sprinkle it over the top. So I'm going to take some cinnamon and sprinkle it over the top. It looks so good already, guys. Nothing wrong with a little bit more cinnamon. Okay. Then you put it into a preheated oven of 350, and it goes in there for, let me flip the page here, for 38 to 40 minutes. So let me put you down here so you can see it. There's, I don't want to tip it, but there's what it looks like. I will come back when it's done, and you guys can check it out. And there it is, finished. Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> Cannot wait to try it. Have a blessed day and be a blessing.